going to be making, I want to say good morning, but I don't know what time you're watching this. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this at. Today we're going to be making some origami boats and these actually do float. They're pretty cool. And while we're making them, there's actually a step where um, it turns into a hat. So this is a little small for me, but oh, you could wear one if you want it. You could just stop there and keep it cool. You can make these out of whatever size of paper you have. You can make them really big or really small. The hat I thought would work better, but that's okay. It didn't. <laughs> Grab your paper and let's get started. Also, there aren't very many folds in this, but it can get a little confusing. And if it's easier for you, I'll have a printout with the different folds that you're supposed to make and maybe you could look at that. But I would recommend doing this with someone. Um, if you know anybody that does origami, maybe they could help you with this project because sometimes folding paper can get a little complicated. But I know you can make this boat, that's why I chose it. So let's get started. We are going to make a boat out of this piece of paper by folding it a few different times. Now follow along with me and we'll do it together. So the first thing we wanna do is fold this bottom side to the top side. Some people call this a hot dog fold. I don't know if that's the official name of it. And then press the bottom, open it back up, now we want to fold this side over to this side. So we're like making a book. Match it up and then press it into a nice crisp fold. And then what you want to do is turn it so that if, it, if this was a mouth, it would be talking to you and this side is closed and folded. And now we're going to fold this side down to the center, almost like you're making an airplane or you're creating a triangle. And then do the same thing to this side, bring it down to the center, or this point, bring it down to this point, if that helps. There's a few ways to explain what's going on here. So we have almost like this paper airplane, but we have two flaps on the bottom. We're going to take this top flap and fold it up to the top, press it, and then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side. If you were making a paper hat, you would be finished because that's what we have here is a paper hat. So you can, there you go. You might wanna just fit, you might wanna just stop now. <laughs> but let's keep going because this gets really cool. All right, now what we're going to do is, this is the inside of it, we're gonna open it up and smash it. So we have these little peaks in here that are from these two pieces meeting. We wanna fold one under the other. I'll turn it over so you can see that a little better. See this weird, this weirdness that's going on there? Just take this flap and fold it under so that it stays nice and flat. So we have this diamond shape. And again, it's kind of opening up towards you. And you wanna fold the bottom point up to the top point. So like folding it in half. It's still a square, but it looks a little different. <laughs> Turn it over and do the same thing on this side. You're going to fold it up. And then we're going to open it up again. So we, now we have like another kind of hat, I guess. But we're gonna squash it again and make a smaller square. So look at this. And if you're confused, maybe yours is upside down. So if you can see like this line down here, that's, that's right. If it's up at the top, then it's not gonna fold out for you. So make sure you kind of have this piece of paper at the bottom and not at the top. And now is the moment of truth. We're gonna grab this side and we're gonna grab this side, trying not to grab this middle piece because then it won't open. And then you pull it open into a boat. And that's it. So that last step really is what makes it come together and make your boat is that last, um, that opening fold. So go ahead and try this one out. Oh, hi. Um, I hope that you enjoyed making this project. I tried making this hat out of a bigger piece of paper and it worked. So it made a hat. So if you, if you don't want to make the boat, just stop when you fold the sides up and there you have a really really cool hat uh, that you can wear around. <laughs> you can decorate and make things out of it. But I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you liked folding paper. I think it's just fun to be able to do it. Like you'll never be bored again. Just grab a piece of paper. You can fold something cool out of it. Boredom goes out the window. It doesn't exist when you know how to create things out of paper and how to draw. 
just doesn't exist because you're, you could always create something, even if it's just in your head, right? All right, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy, oh, I forgot. What I would do now, but <laughs> let's take this off. I actually like wearing it, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's not really my style. So what you can do now is, now you know how to do these boats, now try making something else. I would recommend a jumping frog. They're really cool origami projects. I'll try to include some instructions um, in the PDF or you can just look it up online and find instructions. Or you can make a paper crane. Those are always really fun to make. You can even make some that flap their wings, which is pretty cool. So thank you so much. Have a fabulous day.